be building the armadillo frame by Armatin. This is going to be a quick video on what it's going to look like throughout your build. It's not going to be a complete how-to for the frame assembly. There's already a good video out there for that. So let's get started. First we're going to put these little nuts into the frame here. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now we'll go with the arms. As you can see, I decided to go with the red arms. They look okay. Kind of wishing I went with black, but too late now. Here a little bit. These long ones here actually go into here for the mount of your flight controller board. So. Go ahead and fix that real quick. Everything tightened up. And just for a quick comparison, here is the LT210, which is basically the same as the LS210 knockoff, bang good. And we are just a little bit bigger, as you can see. This is a 210, like I said before, and this guy is measuring about 224, so it's a little bit bigger. Now we are going to put the side plates on, and when you do so, Make sure that the piece with the oil here matches up to the battery connection right here. Because you can run your battery up this side. Because this side is for your transmitter. So I'm going to go ahead and get these on. There we go. It's starting to look pretty cool. All right. So, these were from my LT210 build, so I'm hoping everything's going to reach. As you can see, we have a very small opening here to get that wire into. Go ahead and that right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these on. Alright, so... These are 30 amp ESCs, so they're a little bit bigger. Really wishing I had the 20 amp ESCs right now. And as you can see, it is a bit of a tight fit. And for the back, this opening not lining up really well, kind of lines up, but it's tricky. That is one thing I already do not like. I have this frame stick out a little bit more here. Have a bigger opening. That would have made this much, much, much easier. But we'll have to just go with it. See how it goes. I solder my ESC to my pre-10 pads here. I am going to secure the ESC to the arm using. Scotch brand double sided foam sticky tape. Now, this stuff's really sticky, I like it. So, I've marked a little line from my ESC right here where the end of it needs to be to clear my frame that goes on. So, make sure your arms are clean. Alright, and of course, I'm going to wrap this with electrical tape. Normally I'd use shrink tubing, but unfortunately there was no way to put it on this arm. Alright, now time to get these guys soldered on. And this is how this corner is going to look. It's not too tight. It's a little wiggle room. Now I did file these edges down 
and curved them so that these wires will not get cut. I think that's pretty important to do. So, three more to go. Here's a little tip that I want to give you guys that like, I like to use. Works for me. Uh, when I pre tin my wires, I like to take some flux, dab it on each end a little bit right there. And this is the kind that I use. There's flux pins, but I like this stuff. And I will take a soldering iron. This is the kind of tip I like to use medium flat nose. And let's go ahead and get some solder on the tip here. As soon as you touch it, and that's it. Suck it right up. The same thing on this one. Whoop, it's a little dirty. Let me clean my tip. There we go. Nice clean tip. Put a little solder in there. Touch it. Touch it real quick. Done. Here is the header I'm going to be using for my pins. See, there's only two I'm going to use. And that is going to be the signal on the ground. Don't need the positive. So. I am making this piece. As you can see, I don't have the middle row. So, because it will sh sit shorter, I am taking the the long pin with and then I'll, as a guide to cut this one, I'm going to use the middle one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them side by side here and then just line it up with the other one and snip it. Now this pin should, if you do it right, be the correct depth of what you need if it would ever focus. So there it is. So now, take that long pin and I put it in here. As you can see, it's a little bit long, but it should work. And that will go onto my Seriously Dodo board. Like so. And there it is. Ready to solder on. Alright, here it is. Got everything soldered on. Hopefully there's enough clearance here. Now we're going to solder on our power for our dodo board. So you notice I'm going straight from battery here to power this because it can take up to I believe 6 cell. So there's no need for a regulator. Let's go ahead and get this soldered on. Alright, so we got our power connectors here soldered on. Now let's see how our board fits on. I've went and already had gone ahead and prepared our camera mounts. You know, remember that this is the top, this is the bottom, and you want to mirror them. And these will fit right in this slot here. As you can see, it's a very very tight fit right there. So I went ahead and smoothed this part of the carbon fiber right here because it is going to come in contact with these wires. And I'll go in just like that. And I will be running the run cam owl with this. 
had to put on the plain back plate because it will sit on there just like this. All right, let's get this together and see how it looks. There we go. Now you can run the battery on top, which is what I plan on doing. Some run it from the bottom, so there's this gap here. Now let's get the let's get this little guy on now. Interesting. So Problem I'm running into this transmitter, video transmitter, which is VT200R, is actually hitting the standoff. So it cannot sit straight. That will be a problem. Let's try this and see how it looks. And it is just hitting. So, that looks like a no go. Well, well I'm not sure what to do about the video transmitter for now. So, we're going to move on to my receiver. I am a Spectrum guy, so I'll be using this DSMX satellite receiver. And looking around, I've noticed just under this plate, right here, there should be enough room to mount this guy without the case, of course. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, as you can, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's just enough room in there. So that will be a perfect spot. I'm just going to get the wire hooked up to my dodo. And we'll have signal. All right, here's our wiring diagram that we're going to go off of. See, we've got the dodo board on the bottom. And as you can see, the got our signal, negative, positive. And that lines up pretty well with what our lemon RX has up there. So, if we go off of that onto our board here, I have done the same thing here. Came out of this. We've gone straight in those three pins. So, I've already put this in open bind mode for the Lemon Satellite DSMX. And the great part about this Dota board is that when I hook USB into it, it will power the receiver and we'll find out if it's hooked up right or not. There it is, blinking light. That means it can be bound up and it's ready to put it back into the quad. All right, so we have it all reassembled. Everything is wired up. Gotta say it's looking pretty good. Got everything on that I would need, except for my video transmitter which I've showed before, that is something I'm going to have to figure out. So, but, 
let's go ahead and plug a battery into it and see if I get magic smoke. Ah, and there you go. It's all wired up correctly. I have not bound it yet, so I can't quite test it, but... Um, going over this guy, I gotta say, I, I like it a lot, but there's also a few things I really, really do not like, and they are this whole guy. The wires going into the PDB. This is just way too tight. It easily could have extended this little frame out right here. Five millimeters would have made a huge difference. And it had to come out just a little bit, it could even overhang this little tiny bit. Came back up because this hole, as you can see here, there we go. This hole here cuts this pad halfway off. So, you're trying to shove these wires off to the side here, and it just, it just makes it more difficult, especially to get this video plates mounted in here. So, for $90, I kind of expected a, a little better fit. So, for men's listening, please fix this. This is ridiculous. This would not add any size to it whatsoever. And these holes would actually line up to these pads. Make a world of difference. And other than that, you see the USB comes in nice right here. And uh, like I said before, if you use 20 amp ESCs, it will fit way easier on this arm. I was really running out of real estate right here. And yeah, this is pretty good looking. I'm really digging it. Of course, I'll get these zip tied here. So stay in place. But um, I will be back once I figure out the video transmitter problem. Like I said, how to get it back here? I don't know. Maybe I'll 3D print something. Maybe I don't know yet. But anyway, that's what it is. All right, I had to come back for one more picture. Wanted you to give, it, get, give you guys a look on how it looks with the props on it. I've got to say, this thing just looks like a lot of prop and a little quad. Let's say the uh, pretty close there. I would say there's a millimeter and a half, maybe two, space right there. But you know, that's that's good. And. Good clearance spec here. And yeah, that is the Armatin Armadillo.